Well, the new savior of the Democratic establishment seems to have an issue with the way he expressed himself on where crime is and who commits crimes. Check this out and let's talk about it on the other side. Here we go. 95% of your murders and murderers and murder victims fit one MO. You can just take the description of Xerox it and pass it out to all the cops. They are male, minorities, 15 to 25. That's true in New York, it's true in virtually every city. And that's where the real crime is. You've got to get the guns out of the hands of the people that get killed. So you've got to, if you want to spend the money for a lot of cops in the street, put those cops where the crime is, which means in minority neighborhoods. So this is one of the unintended consequences is people say, oh my God, you are arresting kids for marijuana that are all minorities. Yes. That's true. Why? Because we put all the cops in the minority neighborhoods. Yes, that's true. Why do we do it? Because that's where all the crime is. And most of the ways you get the guns out of the kids' hands is uh, to throw them up against the wall and frisk them. And then they start, they say, oh, I don't want that. I don't want to get caught. So they don't bring the gun. They still have a gun, but they leave it at home. Well, a lot of people think, oh my God, this is a smoking gun. Now Bloomberg is also out. We got another centrist, another moderate out because he's a you-know-what. Just like Biden is a you-know-what. Biden has, is, he's, a, he's really dropped in the black, with the black vote. And now where did he, that drop go? Did all those votes go to Sanders? No, it seems like they went to Bloomberg. To that guy. That guy who thinks criminality lives within minorities because he thinks that's what the data says. You know, I live in Kingwood, a mostly white neighborhood. You know, the only difference between Kingwood and South Park is in Kingwood, they can unload two kilos of Coke, but nobody says anything. In certain parts of the hood, you get all that crack out there, but the cops are all there, so they're there to arrest all those people. So when you look at the jails, the jails look like it is filled with all those, as Bloomberg says, minorities. But you know, in places like my white neighborhood, you won't see that. Why? Because if you don't have them entered into the system, they're not presented to the system. And when it comes to armed robbery. I wonder where they get the guns. I wonder where they get the coke. I wonder where they get all these things that create all this havoc. Who makes them? Wow. And uh, Bush wanted to capture somebody who was infecting America with drugs. He decided to go after Manuel Antonio Noriega in Panama, the country I'm originally from, and he killed 10,000 people to get that one guy supposedly for that. We are so disturbed in the way we see crime, in the way we look at the genesis of crime, in the way we look at who commits crimes. And that thing there wants to be the president of the United States. Somebody that has no comprehension of what crime is, how crime is committed, why crime is committed, who commits the crime, and what's the genesis of crime. Senor Bloomberg, have you ever been to Appalachia?